be my lover, baby, 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 be my lover. From Detroit, yeah, yeah, from Detroit. Yes, I, I like to tell them Motown, baby, man. Yeah, I grew up, my dad is a bass player, so I grew up listening to like Isley Brothers. Uh, oh, that's what I'm that's what that is. makes okay, sense. Okay. I didn't. What's your mental state, man? How you feeling from a one to ten? You can't use seven, man. Yeah. So where you at? That's a safe zone. Can't yeah. I say a nine. You on a nine? Heard Got us playing. Go ahead. I don't mean shit. I mean, I woke up this morning. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Heard um, you. Both legs, both arms. Yeah. First and foremost, young nigga handsome as fuck. <laughs> Talented as a motherfucker. Yeah. I'm Talk in the middle of uh, getting Talk everything shit, I really get. want. Got right. a fucking gorgeous ass queen behind me. I got Talk a your gorgeous shit, ass get. team behind me. Right. Shit, my right. label going up. I got partnerships going on. I'm getting everything that I've been working for for the last 10 years is, right. is popping off right now. Boy, so popping that shit, that. you hear? Yo, it's the boy Rozzy, and I'm on some real podcast shit with the Fat Nasty Podcast. Boy, y'all ain't seen it yet. Y'all, what? You playing with something? Like, what you doing? Rozzy TV, we back in effect. It's about that time. Up here with Chelsea Speaks Radio Station. It's about to be going crazy as we do. Been a lot of things going on that we haven't been talking to y'all about. Been low key, but I'm about to bring y'all back in. I'm about to bring y'all back in. Don't worry. One on one TK Radio. It's your girl. I am Chelsea Speaks. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's June twenty second. We are in the building. The Wonderful Morning Show is back, and I got a very special guest with me. You guys, put your hands together now for my guy, Rozzy. Young Rozzy. Ah, you know, it's Mr. Head clap there. I, I was gonna wait for it for you. How you doing, Rosie? I'm doing good. Life is amazing. Yeah? yeah. You know, it's good to finally sit down and talk to you now because I actually I've seen you in a couple different events, but we did not know each other for those events, like no, the Black right. Only Soul Awards. Okay, okay. You okay. was there with the All Purple. Okay. Couldn't forget. Because yeah, I remember telling I was like, who was that looking like Prince's nephew? <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know what's happening with that, so I definitely saw you with that and I saw you guys the flashy. Did you um end up placing at the awards? No, not that. Okay. One. Well, in my, my heart, heart, in our hearts, you won. Oh, okay. yeah, we won. You won. So, uh, already, already, yeah, already. And, yeah. and then when I saw you knew Kara Tova, who I've known since like 2018, I was like, wow, you definitely working with the right one. Yeah, so yeah. you got to be good people. And God has been putting my team together. Yeah. Like, like I've, this is like this is my second label that I've been putting together. Mm -hmm. And um, all the right people have just been around me, man, from, from Legal, Kara Tova, Shansky, my, my videographers. I just got an amazing set. You know what? I love that because so many artists will talk about, you know, what they do as opposed to their team. Yeah. So uh, before we get too, too deep, let me ask you, what are the important elements of putting a team together from your perspective? Um, it's everything because now, especially now that we got things going on mm -hmm. in the middle of our first um, big partnership, it's, it's gliding. All I got to do is rap and, okay. and hit the and say, hey, we want to release it here and it's and they don't go. I'm talking about photo shoots being planned, video shoots being planned, and we still independent. I love that. As of now. But As of now, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think in the future, if the right label were to come with you, the right numbers? The future might be in the next couple of weeks. I know that's right, Rosie. I know that's right, Daddy. I know that's right. <laughs> Which, ladies, by the way, he looks so much better in person. So Rosie just let you guys person. know. Make sure you see him. Check him out right now, Rosie underscore TV. Yeah. So listen, I got a few things I got to get out the way first. So okay. normally when my guests come, I got to tell them what national holidays are today. Okay. So today is National Kissing Day. When was the last time you had a good kiss? Um, a good one, probably about two days ago. All right, then he said two days ago, <laughs> friend. All right, we lit. Okay. Today's also National Onion Ring Day. Are you a fan of onion rings? Nah, not okay. out the gate. Like I get them from cookout sometimes. But, okay, but, but that's like the drunk night after studio yeah, session. Yeah, I ain't really a big onion ring like that. It's gonna be some onion rings. So, like, do you like onions at all? No. Okay, so you ain't even. I'm surprised I like onion rings. It must be that <laughs> fried around it that made me like it. Like. <laughs> the fried part you can yeah, take. Yeah. Okay, and then today is National HVAC Tech. When was the last time you can ever remember riding in a car with no air AC? Oh, when I first moved to Atlanta, <laughs> I didn't have no AC or no. Um, you didn't? No, no AC. So or what, kind, what kind of car was that? A Chrysler Sebring. Oh, you was old. I had those Tennessee, were good for like two weeks. Tennessee license plate. I had a Detroit license <laughs> and no insurance. <laughs> Savage life in these streets. Yeah, it was it was rough. Yeah. 
yeah. but those are the days that probably made you, huh? Yeah, all that. Man. What color was the Sebring? Was it drop top? Man, it was brown, but I've always I'm a car person, so okay. I painted it black. Got the tinted windows. Oh, you was hot. Light, the no light. wonder you was hot. You had all black. I, I was blacked out, but I'm coming from Detroit, <laughs> so it wasn't that hot in Detroit. Like it's a little cool I up there. Yeah, I came to Atlanta and it was like they turned the heat on for real. Do you already know? Living in Atlanta is like walking in somebody's mouth every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you go outside, it's like oh my god, everything is just stale, <laughs> hot in one spot, no matter which way you turn. That's facts. It's very frustrating. See, see, it's very frustrating, yeah, right? Yeah, right. I can't lie to you. Like, we were just in Miami like a couple of weeks ago, and mm -hmm. I'm like, man, look at this beautiful breeze. And we got back to Atlanta, like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't it, was it? No, there's no ocean. Especially breeze. being by that ocean and getting that breeze yeah, and getting all that. That's where I'm moving to. Oh my gosh! But look, when we come back, we're gonna talk some more about Rise TV. Why he's the next up? He already is the next one. So you guys make sure you stay locked and loaded. We playing Rosy all throughout the show. It's your girl, I am Chelsea Speaks on One on One TKO Radio. We'll be back in a minute. Let's go. Let's get it. All lonely at the top. I was like, man, I wasn't even. I'm still ain't there yet, but I'm like, yo, that's about to be. That's the. It's starting to feel. Uh -huh. So you, so you believe that it's only at the top. I, 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 I do believe too. Yeah. Wholeheartedly. Yeah. I was just telling him, I'm like, man, I'm not, I don't want to compare myself to Jesus or anybody like that. But I'm like, if they did that to Jesus, imagine. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody once they feel like they can't get something out of you, they you bad guy. Oh yeah. Completely. Yeah. You know, if you're not doing what they want you mm -hmm. to do. A lot of times it's the people around you that change before you mm -hmm. and you end up adjusting to how they are and they think you change when nah, I've been myself the whole time. Right. I just gotta protect myself because you moving funny now because you weird. you you freaking me out with what you doing. Like yeah. stars and celebrities they get they get freaked out because people do weird yeah. stuff. Like people really be having some jaded egos and childhood yeah. traumas. Mm -hmm. I don't want TKL Radio. I should come back in real smooth and sexy after that rising okay. track right there. Like, I can't even come in, but I gotta slow it down for the jams one time. Like, you have this natural energy, Rosie, that normally I'm real turned up, yeah. but you're very cool, calm, collected. Are you always like that? Until I get the Hennessy. Oh! My team, though, it's like. It's so he, he go crazy with the Hennessy. Henny, Henny Rosie is a real thing. Now, what's in the Henny Rosie? Kenny Rozzy is um, very confident. Okay. Sometimes arrogant. Oh. Everything like when I'm hum when I'm sober, I'm calm, humble. You chillin'? Yeah. Chillin'. However, I'm the best rapper in the world. I don't know what the fuck y'all think is. Like I go crazy. Like, <laughs> y'all just think on me. Like y'all be just yep, 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 So you become a whole it. nother. It's a whole nother side. So it's true that you as an artist, you do have an alter ego. Yeah, I do. Okay. Do. Now, do you have like a little meter in between? Rozzy and Henny Rozzy where you feel like okay I feel them creeping in or does it it's just pretty much like about 30 minutes after the Hennessy <laughs> is going down so 30 <laughs> minutes you can feel I'm, them yeah anything that I want to say I'm about to say anything anybody I want to talk to I'm about to talk so to the them. Hulk is coming all the way I'm, out I didn't close deals for us because I didn't got off the Henny call be like, man look you tripping you need to be you know what you know, what? You know, you know what? What? I can understand that liquid courage is a real thing yes. <laughs> it's, it's a real thing yes. out there it so, takes all the humbleness out. wow so speaking of humble you have home beginnings you know from Detroit Nashville mm -hmm. D-Town tell me about your life there Man, my dad is a bass player, so okay. like I, I just grew up around a, music. A, yeah, having a, a band inside okay. my basement, recording studio. Wow, in my basement, bass, drums, piano, guitar. I played four different instruments. <coughs> my dad had, had he my made basement is guitar center. Long story short, wow, that amount of guitars, that amount of keyboards, that it's been like that since I was a baby. Okay, so it's like that was like I just grew into it. Like it just happened. He had Joe Jackson. You did he like? No, he had to whoop you. You just he quit. actually only taught me one song per instrument, and I figured out the rest on my own. Really? Yeah. Wow! Wow! So that uh, over time it kind of trickulated and, and sped down to you getting into production, which your older brother did. Yeah. At first, we were able to see him. So, first yeah. question: How many brothers and sisters you got? I have um, I have three brothers and one sister. Are you the youngest, oldest? Where are you in the middle? I'm like in the middle. Oh, so you got middle child issues? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so my dad had my brother, mm -hmm. and I don't have an extended family. I call his brothers and sister mine. But as far as my household, I was the only one in there. I was the only child. Same. Okay. You know, gotcha. So, gotcha. But, but those are my brothers and sisters as well. Okay. So you started producing your first YouTube track. Got over sixty thousand views in two weeks. Yeah. What was that feeling like? Man, that was like I said. It was. 10 <laughs> Did you feel years. like Soldier Boy? Man, it was 10 years ago. That's why I say it took me 10 years to get back. To That's here. real, yeah. So it's like, um, it felt amazing at the time. I knew I could always do it. Mm -hmm. I knew I was going to be there. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that I would have trials and tribulations that would make me have to yeah. 
you know, wait a decade yeah, yeah, to get back A whole here. decade at that. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it felt good. Yeah? Yeah. So what do you feel like was your hardest or most challenging part throughout this decade for you as an artist to get to where you are right now? Um, I think I had to prove to myself how great I was first. Yeah. And then I had to prove to other people. Okay. So when you say prove to yourself, you know, a lot of people say they have nothing to prove, but let's, let's, let's expound on that. Prove to yourself, what does that look like for you internally? Was that like a process you like, no, Rozzy, I got to see this happen or I just can't do it without it? It was like a 10,000 hours type situation. I feel like it takes 10,000 hours to be a master or something. Mm -hmm. And I record, mix, and master everything myself. So it's like every single day, every single night I would be recording, i say like, until like three o'clock in the morning, and I just feel like that re repetition, right? Of constantly doing something, you're gonna become a become master. great, right? You know right? What I'm so, yeah, kind of like that bad bitch who ain't, but you still look. Mm. Mm -mm. Think I'ma try it again. I feel inspired to win. Ross going crazy. Uh, and I know I'm excited. Uh, don't know how to say this. Uh, but I'm quite amazing. Uh, and the that I'm blazing. Uh, make you feel the greatest. Uh, yeah, I'm saying. Know that I'm the greatest. Sean Ski on the beat. Hey, tell me the name of the, um, the album. The album is Hard Canvas 3. It dropped on Valentine's Day, man. Oh, you was on bullshit. Yeah. yeah. And, and this is three, so you got one and two.